All right, hey, what's up, YouTube? Um, this is Nicholas Villanueva here, and I'm recording a video for Cam Cami. Um, basically, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak um, an iPhone using 4.2.1 uh, build on the OS, and I'm also going to show you how to fix the white or black Cydia icon glitch. And I'm also going to show you how to tether that iPhone to a um, Windows-based PC to use the internet through the 3G network, uh, specifically an Asus EPC. Um, so <clears throat> let's get started. First thing you want to do is you're going to want to download your um, build and also your um, cracking program. Um, since I'm going to be using Red Snow, I'm going to link you to Red Snow down in the bottom. Um, and the link for the uh, build will be down in the bottom also. So first thing you want to do is you want to run Red Snow. So we're going to run that. You're going to get your first screen, basically welcoming you to um, 0.9.6 beta 4, uh, has a copyright on it, and blah, 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 blah. What you're going to do is you're just going to kind of press browse, and then you're going to open up the iPhone uh, OS. <clears throat> and what it's going to do is it's going to um, confirm that that's the right OS, and once that's done, you press next. Now it's going to jailbreak it for you. Takes a while. <clears throat> Alright, now you're going to get your next screen. For now, you're just going to have the install Cydia um, box checked and then press next. And you want to put it in DFU mode, um, basically the recovery mode for the iPhone. If you already know how to do this, then do it. Um, but if you don't, basically you're going to hold down your sleep button and your home button simultaneously for 10 seconds, at least 10 seconds, 7 to 10 seconds. And then, once the screen goes black, or you hear um, it connect to win, or, sorry, once the screen goes black, you let go of the sleep button, you keep holding down the home button until you hear um, Windows connect to the device, or just wait like 10 to 15 seconds, either way. So once again, hold down the sleep and home button for 10 seconds, let go of the sleep button for 10 to 15 seconds, and you'll be good. So we're going to do that now. we go. And my iPhone is in DFE mode, so you're just going to press next now. Um, it's going to start jailbreaking and writing all of the stuff to the iPhone. Um, basically uses the Lime Rain um, exploit. <clears throat> and you should see this. Um, there's been glitches where you don't see that, but if you, if you don't, it's not that big of a deal. Um, it'll still work. If it doesn't work, then just start over. All right, now Red Snow has displayed that it is done with the iPhone. You can just close that now. If if Cydia works, you can close that now. Um, once we get in the iPhone, we're going to see if Cydia works. If it doesn't work, um, I'll show you guys how to fix that. And uh, this is going to take a while, so um, I'm going to cut away to when the iPhone is done jailbreaking. Um, as you can see, it's now moving applications and uh, basically doing the final steps. So I'm going to cut away and I'll see you guys in a few. Alright, so it's almost done. I finally got past moving applications. It's now booting into um, iOS 4.2.1. So you should see the normal um, iPhone lo or little logo there. Clean off the screen here. Put fingerprints on it and stuff. Alright, now it's connected to my computer now, so it should be turning on soon. So there you go, it's jailbroken. You see, I do have the white Cydia um, glitch where it'll open up and just kind of close. 
So I'm sure you guys had to fix that, but the iPhone is jailbroken now. It's not unlocked, it's just jailbroken. So, now what we're going to do is, while it's connected to the PC, we're going to run Red Snow again. Go through the same steps. I'm going to browse for the... You know what, let's do this. Let's run it as an admin. Just in case. Um, but we're going to go through the same steps as we did before. We're going to browse for the OS. Select it. Let it verify that it's the right OS. <coughs> Press next, let it jailbreak that. Now here's where you're going to stop. You don't want to do the same thing as you did before. After you, after it jailbreaks the OS, instead of clicking the install Cydia box, you want to click just boot tethered now. Um, basically we're rebooting the phone. Not respringing, we're actually rebooting the phone because this is a tethered device now so every time this phone needs to boot up it has to be booted up tethered to the computer so now I'm on this screen you just want to click the just boot tethered now and press next now put it in DFU mode again Alright, phone's in DFE mode, press next. It's now going to go through again and install LimeRain and everything on the OS. And this time you should see a pineapple logo. Now Red Snow's done, now you can just close Red Snow for good. Still waiting. Alright, so it's done. Come on. There it is. iPhone's booted up, connected to AT&T's network, and the Cydia app is now brown, like it should be. And if I open it, it'll run. It's gonna basically first time startup of Cydia, so it's gonna initialize the file system this. So still going to wait on that. It's going to re-spring the device. If you've opened a backup Cydia, now it's going to ask you if you're a user, hacker, developer. Just, just, just choose user um, unless you develop um, applications for uh, Cydia. Um, hacker is all command line, so if you know how to develop in command line, then choose hacker. But for the most of you, you're going to want to choose user. Um, now we're going to do a search. Okay, so that uh, now we have finished inst uh, jailbreaking the iPhone and we've finished uh, fixing Cydia uh, with a 4.2.1 OS. So it's now jailbroken, not unlocked, so just to differentiate the two. Um, but now I'm going to show you guys how to tether this device to this laptop. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to delete the um, settings I have in here already so that I can show you guys exactly how to do this. Whoops. Alright, so there isn't one in there. Okay, cool. So, here's what we're going to do. You're going to go to search on Cydia and you're going to want to search for PDA net right like that Let's see if you guys can see this it might be too bright come on okay well I'll just post all the information on the sidebar PDA net just just choose the free edition and you're going to want to install it all 
I let that download all the information and install it and then you're going to want to reboot the device. So, turn to Cydia. Or not. Maybe we don't have to respring this time. Um, I'm just going to move a couple things around here just to get them out of the way. This is a, um, a backup of my iPhone with all my applications, so everything's in these folders and this randomly on this other screen. So, I'm just going to keep it like that now. So now we have PDA Net. You're going to want to launch that. Okay. And there's two ways of being able to use your iPhone's internet. You can either broadcast it as a Wi-Fi hotspot or you can use a USB tether. With the USB tether, you're going to want to just turn on the USB tether down there. And then you're going to want to go to that site, download the Windows application, or the Mac one if you're using a Mac, but this is, we're using Windows here, so download the, the um, program, install it, and just follow the steps on there. I'm not using that way because I don't want to have to look around this when I'm all about. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Wi-Fi hotspot. We're going to turn that on. Oh. First thing, you might want to go turn on your Wi-Fi and your setting settings. So we're going to go back to PDA. So now we're going to turn on the Wi-Fi hotspot. The SSID. This is going to be the name of your network. So basically you're turning this thing into a router. Like when, when you see it with your laptop, it looks like a router. Um, well, not really. It's more of a you know ADHOC network, but same thing. So for the SSID, I'm just going to put it Tether 1 for now. Like that. I don't know if you can see that, it's probably too bright. Uh, the password has to be a 10 digit number. Um, it uses WEP, it doesn't support WPA, PSK, so um, just has to be a 10 digit number. And I already have the one I always want to use, so I'm going to set that up now. Like that. Um, the channel, you can just keep the same, just keep it at 4. So keep that at four. Uh, signal strength you can change. You can make it 100% and it'll like broadcast probably a lot farther. I just put it down to 10%. It saves battery and I'm gonna have my iPhone sitting right next to my laptop at all times anyways. So I, I keep it at 10% and then just press activate. And now basically you just turns your iPhone into a Wi-Fi hotspot. So now we're gonna go to the laptop and we're gonna disconnect from the current network. Now, in the, set, in the things, you can see there's my home network, there's my computer HDOC for my laptop, and then there's my Tether 1. That's the HDOC network I just made that's basically being broadcasted from my iPhone. So we're going to connect to that. And we're going to enter the key that we decided. Press OK. Now it's going to connect to there like a router. And as you can see on here, it has seized my, my PC with its MAC address, which I'll just kind of I'll just show, just kind of tell you guys. Um, it'll also show you the bytes used up and down, um, and it also shows you the battery life of your device. Now you don't really have to worry about too much about the battery life. Like I know I if I have my PC or my iPhone X my thing, I can just plug it in, but I'm not gonna have it plugged in all the time because I don't want to have this just sitting out like this when I'm like at a coffee shop or at work or whatever. So. Basically, my device is connected. I'm just going to choose a home network. And since this is an iPhone, it doesn't really work that well with um, making a home group. So we're just going to press cancel. Um, and now I have internet. I'm basically running internet through my phone. Um, it's pretty fast. I'm not going to run a speed test on it because I use a lot of data. But yeah. Um, it's pretty good for you know checking you know email, just cruising the web. Probably not the best for gaming on and stuff like that. Um, not saying you should do that anyways, because um, AT&T will get on you about using um, an iPhone tethered without paying them for it. So just letting you guys know. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, hope this helps out some of you guys, and I'll uh, we'll see you guys all later.